Turnbull. I'm Nick Year's Vice President, Managing Director for Australia New Zealand. And along with the rest of the NECU team, thanks, thanks for coming along and spending the evening with us. Now, there'll be plenty of time to have a few more drinks, a bit more to eat, and play a few games. But really, the main event is we get to introduce you to, to next level light bulb, Wave 2 Wi Fi. And to run you through some really exciting announcements, I'd like to introduce, I uh, can't sort of make that sort of entrance, I'd like to introduce David Henry, our worldwide vice president of product marketing, to, to take us through the evening. Thanks, David. Good evening. How are you? Good, good. Um, as Brad mentioned, are we good? Okay. Um, my name is David Henry. I'm Vice President of Products for Netgear's Consumer Division. I'm very excited to be here. Um, in fact, it was uh, just over a year ago I visited last, and uh, I see many of the same faces in the audience. Last July, we announced the world's first tri-band Wi-Fi router, and uh, the key story there was speed, of course. And uh, today, I'm excited to say that we've got another new Netgear first, world's first technology that we'll be announcing tonight. Okay? Um, just like the car you see there, and just like the 9 X6, the story here will be speed, but I think all of us in this room can attest that speed is not the only thing we need from our home networks, right? In fact, the average Australian home today according to Telsite, has over nine connected devices on the home network at the same time, all competing for scarce bandwidth, for scarce Wi-Fi. And we're at the dawn right now of uh, a generation of smart home devices and Internet of Things devices. So in previous years, those nine devices comprised mostly of PCs, tablets, and then smartphones. But now we're seeing more and more, it's appliances. It's washers and dryers and refrigerators. I don't think we didn't see the Arlo. <laughs> there is an Arlo. It's home monitoring cameras, like the Arlo that Netgear announced just a few months ago. It's lighting systems. It's thermostats and smoke detectors. All of those types of devices is gonna drive that number from nine to 24 devices just by 2019. And I can tell you um, from what most people have in their homes today, from a networking standpoint, the Wi-Fi you have today is probably not sufficient even for the nine devices that the average consumer has, much less the 24 that we'll have in a few years. So as I mentioned, we're in this dawn of smart home and Internet of Things. We're also now at the beginning of an age of online subscription video streaming. When I was here last year, it was pretty rare that people would be subscribing to online paid services. And even as late as December of this year, only 300,000 Australians were subscribing to online over-the-top video subscription services. But just in six short months, that number grew to over two million, with a million of those being Netflix subscribers alone. But it's not just Netflix, it's Stan and Presto and others the video content is becoming much more compelling, right? The catalog is better. It's easier to find and navigate and play, and the quality is much better. And all this streaming certainly has taken a toll on the home network, but it's also taken a toll on the broadband infrastructure and the internet infrastructure in Australia. I mean, it's, we probably all read articles about uh, the Netflix streaming and, and the similar over the top that is bringing down and it's uh, causing a lot of congestion on the internet backbones here in Australia. And consumers are blaming that every time they have a bad internet connection at home, whether it's through a video stream or anything else they do on the home network, because it's all related. It's all the same bandwidth. In fact, 50% of Australians today are saying that they don't have sufficient broadband to stream reliable HD video in the home. Such that one in five are now saying they plan to upgrade to more premium and faster broadband subscription in the next 12 months just so they can stream better premium over the top video. If they can get it. If they can get it. 
right? And it's not just consumers who are upgrading their home networks, it's initiatives such as NBN and UFB who are investing billions of dollars upgrading the home network or updating the broadband speeds using technologies including DOCSIS 3.1, VDSL, fiber, and the like. But just as soon as that speed gets to more and more homes around the country, of course consumers will consume that bandwidth. 4K streaming, for example, is gonna come over the top. It's not gonna come on a physical disk. That will consume that bandwidth very quickly. So we've got an exponential growth in the numbers of devices on the home network and different types of devices and the different uses and requirements of those devices. We've got an exponential growth in the amount of online video being streamed. So clearly, the network of, of the past is not sufficient. In fact, the missing link has been and will be the home gateway. And that's why today I'm very excited to announce that Netgear is introducing the missing piece to that puzzle. It's the latest addition to our night off family. It's the world's first 802.11ac Wave 2 VDSL motor router, and we call it the Nighthawk X4S.
accordingly. So for example, your HD video doesn't start buffering, and your online game doesn't start lagging, and your web traffic doesn't slow to a crawl just because somebody on the network wants to upload a large file or download a large file from Dropbox or another cloud service, right? And our dynamic quality of service is also intelligent enough to distinguish between different types of video. So adaptive rig video, for example, like a Netflix, which will increase or decrease the resolution of the quality of the video depending on the bandwidth it gets, is not impacted by, for example, YouTube, which will just keep buffering and caching data as fast as it can and consume all of that bandwidth. This is how we make sure that the movie that you're watching in one room is not impacted by someone in the next room watching the latest viral video of uh, future President Donald Trump saying something very insensitive. <laughs> and our quality of service is actually device aware. So for example, this, the HD video you're streaming to that 50 inch television can get a lot more bandwidth and priority than the exact same video that's streaming to a smartphone or tablet because it's a smaller screen. So you get the best resolution on the biggest screen. The dual core process that I talked about earlier also powers extremely fast reads and writes to each of two USB 3.0 ports or any set of them <coughs> that you can connect that storage. This is also a first of any residential gateway on the market. And because it's a Netgear, because it's a Nighthawk, we give you software features to take advantage of this hardware. So for example, we have a real-time backup software for your PCs called ReadyShare Vault, and we support Time Machine for your Macs. We've got a DLNA server, so you can take all of your music and pictures and video and stream to your smart TVs or other DLNA clients. But we also support iTunes server, so you can stream music over AirPlay. It's truly a feature-packed product with tremendous, unique, Features that none of our competitors have, but none of it really matters unless it's easy to use. And that's what the Netgear Genie is all about. The Netgear Genie is an application that has been downloaded and installed by over 6 million customers around the world. Primarily, to first keep your network up and running. Make sure you're always online. But secondly, take advantage of all these unique features. To make it very simple for you to turn on your own controls so that your kids are not accessing inappropriate content. So before I close, I want to throw out one more data point to you. The average adult spends between seven and eight hours per day online. In a given week, that's more time than they spend sleeping or working. So having a high-speed, always-on, reliable connection that covers the entire home that can, can, connect, can cover and connect 24 or more devices is not a luxury, it's a requirement. And that's why Nanker has introduced the Nighthawk family of home networking products, of which I'm proud to say the Nighthawk X4S is now the flagship. So with that, I'm going to thank you for coming out. I'm going to reintroduce Brad Little, and I'll be around to answer questions later on. Thank you. So, uh, real, a, a quick housekeeping. Um, once again, thank you all for coming out. There's um, plenty more time, there'll be plenty more food, drinks, entertainment going on. Um, keep an eye out. Any questions for, for the next year staff, more than happy to answer. Um, and then ultimately, Nighthawk X4S available now. Um, you'll start to see that hit the shelves in the, in the next few weeks. So, it's, it's just started shipping. Um, thank you all very much for coming along. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.